Okay, I'm just gonna stay put and not get up and move around for fear that I might uh, hit something on my phone causing my camera to be out of focus. So yeah, I don't know what I did last time. So hopefully I can go through, get, get through this update without uh, that happening. So uh, here we go. I'm gonna start off where I previously left off on because of the, again, the video quality was out of focus and so bad so anyway here we go again i got um just show this again the complete collection of faces of dying uh just a fake a mockumentary low budget horror movie uh just sort of paying homage to stuff like faces of death obviously so this is the one through four from ses entertainment here's the write-up in the back pretty cool stuff just be careful uh, when if you order through them or the retro exploitation store. Uh, some of their movies go by different titles, so just uh, be careful not to accidentally double dip. So I'm just putting that out there. So that's that. Uh, next up is uh, just like Faces of Death have done. You got to do it with these uh, with this here as well. Um, the worst of Faces of Dying. <laughs> pretty cool here's the write up in the back finally jumped on these they had a valentine's day sale where all these movies were like $8.99 so um, yeah I jumped on that cool here's their other movies they have they have more than that um, that's just some of them they're showing. I've shown a few of their movies off before in the past. Uh, they've done like Zombie 8, also known as Zombie Flesh Eaters, part quote unquote 5. Alright, uh, i got a few movies here, so let me just get through this little stack here. Uh, some adult themed horror. Um, the All Night at the Bizarre Art Theater. Um, there's a lot on here. Hotter Than Hell, Come Deadly, The Unholy Child, Mania, plus eight more shocking hits. Nice, Nicely packaged. I wasn't expecting it to be this, so I grabbed this off their uh, sale that Vinegar Syndrome was having with some of their older releases. And I jumped on this one while they had it. It's one of those ones I've been curious about. Pause that if you want to be able to read all that. Never seen any one of the either of these, so it's that. Next is a horror uh, '80s horror spoof I have been wanting to check out, just never seen before. The American Scream. Another one of those movies I've stuck on VHS for decades. Pretty cool. I only remember it by its uh, the VHS art there. No, I'm repeating myself, but it's just nice to see all these movies finally making a comeback on the physical media. So that's cool. Along with the original art. I hope I like this. I'm not too crazy about horror spoofs. Like, I'm not... Uh, I like a few, the weirdo and some of the older ones like body, body, is it student bodies? That's the one I like that one. That one's okay, but I'll see. Hopefully I like that one. That's a blind buy. Next is Assassino Guantata, a low budget, new, newer movie. Um, another one of those newer, uh, Jallo inspired movies as you can tell a little card in here kind of has that uh the new york ripper vibe going on right there that's pretty cool this movie goes by another title that's easier to say but i, I forget what it is it's like something cut or cut something Oh, that looks to be a lot of fun. Uh, 
Beware, Children at Play, an older tra trauma movie, which is pretty cool. I haven't seen this movie in forever, but I remember it having some pretty cool uh, kills in it. It's just a little slow, but not one of the best killer kid movies, but I mean, I dig it. Again, old trauma movie. Oh, here we go. <laughs> uh, Blind by looks like one of those cool little thrillers. Uh, blood on her name. There's the spine. Does have reversible cover art. I just switched it to this. It's been some good positive reviews out there for this movie, so I'm looking forward to checking it out. I'm going to keep my DVD just because it has really cool uh, cover art to it versus this one this one's okay but uh one of the older uh, an older movie from uh, johnny dickey this one's a lot of fun really really low budget but it's got a lot of heart and some fun little splatter here and there city of the dream demons Cropsy's Creepy Con. Another documentary horror convention there in, in Los Angeles, somewhere in California. No, Burbank. That's that's where it was. Uh, shows some uh, trailers and behind the scenes stuff. Figured I'd give this a shot. It's not really long, only 45 minutes. More adult-themed horror. Um, Banger Syndrome finally grabbed me with some of these. Dracula Sucks. I actually had this on a double feature DVD, one of their older releases. Um, I forget what it was doubled with, if I'm correct. I need to find that and just uh, take that off the shelf now. I have not gotten around to watching this. Obviously, this is going to have to be one of those ones where... Um, the late night watch. I don't know. I don't know what to... Ex well, I know what to expect, but I don't know how crazy it's going to get so so dracula sucks again blind by only in the 70s uh dragoose if i'm saying that right probably not dragoose again adult themed horror movie i think this is also from can i show the back of that probably nope not <laughs> so that's that all right continuing on with the stack that i was on from the previous video before my camera went to crap so next up is an awesome release from dark force bangs also known as holy wednesday which is said a lot in this movie finally got around to watching this for the first time and, and highly enjoyed it this is another one of those vh vhs obscurities that i had been uh wanting to check out forever so that's cool that it's funny finally gotten some love so happy to add that to the snake themed horror section so i don't really have a section everything's all abc order but you guys know what i mean so fangs i really dig this uh slip case that is that is absolutely beautiful um cool little movie i was not disappointed and uh yeah, it could go by either title. Both make sense. So, Holy Wednesday. No reversible cover art. This is the this is what you get here. So, if you don't get the um, slip, then yeah, you don't get it as fangs. Not that it's a big deal, but I've always known it to be called fangs. So, I kind of I'm gonna have to have the slip for this, just for nostalgia reasons. 
And it's hard to put back on. I should not even, I don't know why I bothered to fool. I just can't help it. I gotta show you guys as much as I can. Some of this cool art. So that's that. Uh, one that just had me curious for uh, a couple of years now because it was always getting brought up on online forums when talking movies that, that were you know lost for a while and that's the farmer um read up on this supposed to have some crazy gory moments another one of those revenge thriller movies that had been lost for like decades and now it's here thanks to scorpion releasing so that's cool so looking forward to checking this out um Oh, yeah, a blind buy, so I hope, hopefully I get some enjoyment from it. So that's that, The Farmer. Here's a gross one. Um, curiosity got the best of me, so it's called uh, Fluid Fields. Another one from A Broke House. Um, they release some interesting, crazy, off-the-wall bonkers stuff. So I'm addicted to checking them out and what all they're going to be dishing out. So this one is... Uh, definitely going to be a gross one for me personally uh, for sure so that's fluid fields it's just the name alone is crazy so that's that i can't show you guys the back i think it's kind of rough so that's that i know we're all adults but youtube it just gets youtube it just gets stupid like that so anyway um forced entry uh re-release of this movie uh this time with like a really beautiful slip case same uh special features i believe um is this the one that's got a different cut of the movie this time i don't remember i think it's just a re-release through dark force yeah it does have a different cut of the movie if i remember i was like what other reason do i grab this again so pretty cool forced entry uh Continuing on with picking up these, uh, I think this is another one from Tokyo Shock, Freeze Me. And I did not switch the keep case. This came in a white keep case, so that's pretty cool. I was not expecting that. So that's awesome. I, I don't think Tokyo Shock does that, so I don't know if the previous owner did this just for his or her personal taste and put it in a white keys case, or this originally came out like this. Maybe some of you guys who bought this when it first came out can answer me that um but anyway this came to me in a white key case so that's that's cool i dig that uh this movie looks interesting uh, i've never seen it before so we'll see freeze me uh, girlfriend from hell another one finally finding its day uh, again, so that's cool. Definitely want to check this one out. This, look, this looks like a blast. Horror uh, comedy. Uh, from Culture Shock Entertainment. Now a partner label of Inner Syndrome, so that's cool. Makes it easier. You don't have to go to too many websites. You can just go into Vinegar Syndrome and find a lot of these partner labels through through there. So that, that is convenient because before it was just you'd have to go through all these sites just to try and keep up with all the news. So that's a big positive about all these partner labels on Vinegar Syndrome. Anyway, I'm, I'm rambling. Uh, this looks to be a lot of fun. I've never seen it before. But again, another one of those I've just been curious about for the longest time. So A Girlfriend from Hell. Uh, the Ghost, another Tartan Asia Extreme edition. Uh, Ghost Riders. heard mixed things over the years i think this one's okay i do prefer my ghosts and zombies to look like and act like ghosts and zombies but i thought this one was all right it wasn't bad um, love the cover art to this mine got a little damaged but that's okay it's no biggie
forgot who this came from. Oh, MVD. Definitely got to keep an eye on what they do. So Ghost Rider is another obscurity, obscure one. Getting some love. Uh, God's left hand, devil's right hand. Another one from Tokyo Shock. Kind of catching up on some of these movies here. This one looks to be pretty crazy. Another one of those hot movies I want to check out. A double feature of The Graves and an upgrade of this one. I had the, this is the only one I had on DVD is The Zombies of Mass Destruction. So it's an upgrade on that one. That one's okay. It's not bad. Graves I've never seen before. Um, I mainly got it for Zombies of Mass Destruction. But I'll check out Graves, see how I feel about that one. That one doesn't have a lot of good reviews either. But I scored this one for cheap at one of the stores I like to go to. Same with the other... That other After Dark double feature, I uh, scored both of those uh, there at that store for like a couple bucks. The Haunted Lantern. Another one I got for pretty cheap. Don't know anything about this one, just read up on it. Just I had to have it. It looks pretty cool. From Asian Pulp Cinema. Hell of the Screaming Dead. Obviously paying, uh, being inspired by, what is it, um, City of the Living Dead? Or the Gates of Hell, I should say. <laughs> that's straight up Day of the Dead right there, so that's funny. That, that scene there. That's Fulci Zombie right there, so that's funny. Looks to be a lot of fun. It's producer of Spookies. And Zombie 8. So Hell of the Screaming Dead, or Hell of the Screaming Undead, excuse me. Hide and Go Kill from Cinema Epoch. A few of those releases. It's another label I'm a little behind on is that, is uh, Cinema Epoch. So Hide and Go Kill. The Howling, now making its way onto 4K. Uh, it's my favorite werewolf movie of all time, The Howling. Um, close second would be American Werewolf in London. But I'm a Howling guy. I like The Howling. It's awesome stuff. Just very threatening looking werewolves and or the werewolf in it. Um, yeah, just straight up horror, uh, very dark and holds up, holds up well to this day. So it's classic, not much I can say about it. So that's the howling, my favorite werewolf flick. Um, I love the company of wolves. I, I really love that little werewolf movie too. So, um, definitely in my top five, if I ever had a top five werewolf movies um anyway I'm, I'm rambling i can't really show the cover to this next one some nudity uh so i'm gonna cover it up with these cards it's um uh, my camera will pick up oh no not again stay focused how to raise women from the dead another one from um i can't really show the back either uh, another one from a broke house 
So that's that. It looks pretty brutal. Um, it's definitely some gore to it from what I can tell. So that's that. Sorry guys, I just cannot show the cover art to that one because YouTube is very sensitive that way. Um, next up is Iguana. What? I keep forgetting about this movie. Um, I've never, I don't know why I didn't have it on my wish list. I should have because I've been wanting to check this out and I always forget to go after this movie. So luckily it was still in print, not out of print. And I grabbed it for cheap. Um, so yeah, Iguana. About this guy who's a bit of a mutant. He's on this island, sort of a king of pretty much his own king of this island and slaves a few people it's um yeah i know a l just very little about it it just seems interesting to me so yeah iguana finally got to have this movie uh just keep it's just one of those i keep forgetting about uh in dreams um i like this movie but i can understand why it was a big flop because it is a weird um that's a weird thriller um it's just a little out there i think it's a little too out there for like mainstream audiences um, I watched it recently. I liked it. Uh, my wife, she thought it was all right, but yeah, she, she was like, yeah, I can understand why this one flopped back then. But yeah, I dig it in dreams. And I think it's cool just seeing, uh, Robert Downey Jr. playing a psycho. So yeah, that's that. Uh, this one looks to be pretty crazy. Uh, another one that I grabbed from Vinegar Syndrome Cell. Infrasexism, yeah, ugh, sexism, sexism, infrasexism. That's tough. All right, can I show the back of this? Yeah, that's fine. Here's the write-up on the back. The synopsis. Unexpected gore. So, yeah, sign me up. It's more of an adult sort of uh, horror, themed horror. How am I looking on time? Yeah, I'm doing good. Okay. Again, from Vinegar Syndrome Cell, uh, Intrusion. Can I show the back of that? Yes, that's fine. Yeah, it looks to be pretty, pretty rough. So I will probably be watching that one by myself. I'm not going to expose. I'm not going to. I'm not going to pick on my wife with that one. I'm not mean. So uh, next one is a double feature. I got this for uh, Judy because it looks crazy too. So I did not have this one. Yeah, I got it mainly for Judy. Here's the write-up on the back for Judy. No! Oh, dang it. Oh, well. Oh, well. <laughs> what can you do? It happens. All right. Killing spree. I do have this video marked for adults only, so I'm trying, guys. Uh, Killing Spree. Um, I have the SRS Cinema uh, edition. I'm going to keep that for collector's purpose because it has really cool new commi newly commissioned cover art that I really dig. But I had to go after this. It's a fun, low-budget splatter movie that you just have to you have to check out if you haven't already. Um, one of my favorites. Can't believe this has a soundtrack out there, so that's cool. But, yeah, this movie's... It's getting a lot of love, and it, and it should. It is. It's a fun, off-the-wall, crazy movie. Cool decapitation scene and stuff. So, Killing Spree lives up to its title. Ah, uh, Blind Buy, one of those weird artsy-type horror films that I hope I like. Uh, Coco, Coco Die, Coco Day, Coco Da. Or, no, Coco, Coco Die, Coco Da, Coco Da. <laughs> Such a weird title. I can't say it right, but it, it looked bizarre. I checked out the trailer and I'm like, I don't know what to do. So, ah, I hope I like it because I didn't get this one on a sale. 
Yeah, it looks it looks intense. Hopefully I like it. Uh, layer, a little monster movie. Sometimes your inner demons must get out. Some discard. That's the same thing. Same thing. Okay. I didn't know if it came with a card or not. Uh, I, I like this one. Uh, this one's pretty good. Uh, very sad. So, um, not so much scary. Just really downbeat and sad. Uh, just felt for, felt for both sides, <laughs> the sheep side and the human side. It's just really sad, tragic stuff. But uh, yeah, I, I dig lamb. Another one from the A24 that I really liked. Uh, so, not a whole lot of dialogue, but that was fine. Uh, the movie did well. Does well without it. But yeah, I dug it. It's a really nice addition uh, from that company. Lipstick, one of those thrillers I've never seen before, but it looks pretty cool. From Screen Factory. Is a double feature. Uh, has it comes with the 1926, I believe, version and the 1960s version of the Lost World. Uh, another one I found out in the wild and with its uh, slipcase, so that's cool. Um, it's a nice addition. So glad to finally have this off the wish list. And I can't believe I actually found this in a brick and mortar store. This is one of those hard to find movies. <laughs> it has been out of print for a while. I, I do like that it comes with the. Um, yeah, 1925 adaptation as well as the 1960. Anyway, cool little dinosaur um, action adventure thriller for dinosaurs. So I'm glad to finally add this movie to the collection. I don't know when it's going to make the leap onto Blu-ray. Maybe not. I've taken taken the bullet for you guys. It'll it'll happen pretty soon. Cause that's that's how things are, <laughs> right? So the Lost World. Uh, Madman, finally getting into some Madman here, uh, getting the 4K treatment, so that's awesome. Uh, the movie is beautifully shot, so it, uh, that makes sense for it to hit 4K. Uh, so I can't wait to check that out, see how it looks. Uh, very impressed with the Blu-ray that Vinegar Syndrome had done. So um, I don't think this edition is going to let me down at all. Uh, I think the newly commissioned art is okay. Uh, just put my two cents out there. I do enjoy what the dude designs does and has done over the years uh, i just think this one is just a little bit much but that's just me being nitpicky overall it's badass so awesome to see this little slasher movie get the love that it's it's gotten in recent years so pretty cool can't go wrong with that iconic to me anyways it's iconic of cover art so awesome little slasher Gotta love Madman. Madman Mars. All right. Uh, this one looks out there. The Midnight Swim. What partner label released this? I got this off of Vinegar Syndrome as well. Uh, sort of a haunt, haunting ghost movie. Um, but these two daughters, they lose their mother and... Something is not right after that. So that's what I get from the trailer and then reading a little few spoiler-free reviews online. So it looks to be shot really well and some good acting. So hopefully I like it. So that's the Midnight Swim. Uh, the Cracked, or excuse me, The Mirror Cracked. Uh, tricky title. Another one from Kino Larber from 1980. Is that that murder she wrote? Uh, yeah, it is. 
forget the actress's name. Sorry, guys. I don't know if it's a crime, but yeah. Yeah, Angela Lansbury. That's who that is. Okay. Cool. She's a great actor. So, uh, I have a feeling I like this. This looks pretty cool. It looks like uh, more uh, Agatha Christie stuff. So, the mirror cracked. Miss Revenge. Sort of playing off of, uh, again, inspired by Miss 45, obviously. The movie has another title it goes by. I think it's like I Drip Blood on Your Grave or something like that. It's, it's hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's hilarious. So, Miss Revenge. A little Miss 45 knockoff. It should be fun, hopefully. I'm probably going to say this wrong. Um, Mo Mojin the Worm Valley. Sort of action, horror, creature, feature movie, giant monsters. So, looks to be a lot of fun. Hopefully, I'd, hopefully I'll dig it. I had no idea it was from a novel series, so I'll have to look into that. Um, this one is Mondo Shock, uh, volumes one through three, the complete collection. One through three. And some more fake, fake knockoff stuff. Mockumentary stuff. Low budget. Over three hours. Whew. Got a plan for that one. <laughs> Oh, that's cool. All right, the monster of Camp Sunshine, and it comes also with what's the other movie? I don't even remember anymore. Our camera focus. Plus, Honeymoon of Terror. I think this is dipping into the old something weird catalog, if I remember correctly. Again, got it off of uh, Vinegar Syndrome the website. Um, is this... What partner label is this? Agfa, yeah. I should have known that. Agfa. So that's that. It looks to be pretty crazy. A lot of fun. Like these old ads back here. <laughs> like you'd see in these old monster mags. And then I can't really show the cover of this. I'm just finishing up my Wayne Enterprises shockumentaries. This is one of them I need to, to get my hands on. I got one more and then I'm... I'll have all the collection. I've got a lot of the Wayne Enterprise shockumentaries that are very nostalgic to me because you'd always see those in like video stores and stuff but this one's it this one's called more than smash pumpkins pretty graphic uh, cover art so i can't really show too much of that but there you go something like that <laughs> more than smash pumpkins boom there um next is more some more i got the christie uh murder on the orient express the 70s haven't seen this one um but i've been told that i will i'll i'll enjoy it haven't seen the new one the new one doesn't look i just don't seem interested in checking out that the new take on this one um i think it's got like johnny depp and a couple others in it not that i'm against those actors or anything but it looks to be more of a comedy than anything but i'll check this one out Um, the complete Daco series, um, it's a documentary, and it's got a lot of directors being interviewed in this one, so that's pretty cool. Um, 
Let's check this one out. Not for the Faint of Heart, A History of Forbidden Films. Uh, SCS, I mean, SCS Entertainment Original. Let's see, interviews with Stephen Byro. Stephen Byro, if I'm saying that right. Yeah. Talking about the video nasties and whatnot, so definitely had to get my hands on this. Paranoiac, cool little movie. We call it Proto Slasher. That's awesome. That creeped me out. I remember that creeping me out when I was a kid. That scene, that mask. Well, I say kid, but I was in my, my teens. That's a kid. Teenagers. Not a kid, kid, but you guys know what I mean. <laughs> I want to shut up now. Uh, Paranoiac. And then another one I found for cheap out in the wild. A second in Charles. I think this might be another second in Charles pickup. Pony pool, one that I've been on the fence for years, because I like my zombie movies to be gut munching, eating zombie boobies. But this one, I was just kind of, I ah, just wasn't so sure of. But for a couple of bucks, I'll check it out. It's got a ton of positive reviews. So smart, funny, and intense. So I'm a little late to the party on this one, but that's okay. I'll check it out. Um, I was kind of holding out for the longest time, too, because, I mean, the movie has such a big cult following, and it's got a ton of positive reviews. I just don't... Where's the Blu-ray, you know? I don't know what's holding this movie up for making the leap, but now, maybe I took a bullet for you guys, and we'll have a nice collector's edition. Hey, anyway, I don't even know if I'm going to like this, so it's a blind buy for me. Check it out. Ponty Pool. Ponty Pool. And then I'm going to stop it after this one, guys, and then I'll, I'm, we're getting there. So I'll stop it after this. This is a double feature, more adult-themed horror um, movies here. Very adult <laughs> movies. Red Heat and Hot Vampire. Again, picked it up on the Vinegar Syndrome uh, cell. And yeah, can't show too much of that. So it's not really much of a write-up on the back. I was show you that so that is it for now guys i'll be back when i can uh finish up these stacks for show you guys what i got in uh that's it take it easy thanks for stopping by uh later guys keep collecting